will show you how to give a class when you are not in UMS. Okay. You, now suppose you are going, you go out for conference, or you are going out to another place for some activity or some administrative work. You want to give a class in your normal time. For example, I want to give class from nine to eleven, but I am not in UMS. So how do I do that? I use a function inside known as Big Blue Button. So I will show you how it's done. Zul will show you through the steps. So we'll go to the next one. Go to the next. Scroll down, Zul. To the next. We turn editing on first. Then I go to week two. Okay, in week two, my class is from nine to eleven, but I'm not in UMS. I'm in my house or in the conference or in other place. I want to give them a class nine to eleven, and this is a real face-to-face -face class. So what I do, I add an activity or resource. You can add it anywhere. Add that one, and then there is something in that known as a big blue button. Okay, so it's big blue button. A big blue button is a platform which is used by all our uh, peers, means the other IPTAs. They will use this to uh, give a live lecture. Okay, so Big blue button. Okay, add. So big blue button is actually. Uh, are any of you using Google Meet or Skype or Zoom for class? You are using. So this big blue button is a light version of the uh, uh, what you call teleconferencing so software. So this is free and it's open source and it's used by all our peers. So if you are teaching core teaching with uh, like UPM or USM or UIA, or they will be using the same big blue button format. So it's common across the board. So we use this system. So we access the big blue button. Okay. Now this big blue button needs to be given a class. So this is actually a kulia. This is the class, but it's not in the, your physical space. The class is in the server. Can be accessed by all the student all the time when it's online. Okay. So we give that uh, virtual classroom name. So we give it a class lecture two. Okay. And then we click send notification. Okay. And then we go down. So we need to do the settings. Okay. So the one of them is I'll show you. Abzul, go to the record setting. Record setting. Okay. Record setting. Okay. And the activity setting. Pick record first. Okay. This one is very important for you. You uh, want to know. You basically, if you do a recording setting, if you do not want your student to record your class, don't select the recording button. Okay, don't give them recording setting. So there's a session can be recorded. If you do not want to say, because sometimes student can quote you out of context. Okay, suppose I'm giving a lecture on political science and I say something in my lecture in the first five minutes and then actually link to something in the next ten minutes. So student can misquote you. So if you don't want them to record, click on the do not record. So they cannot record the session. But if you want to store it in your file, right, in your course file, or if it's a normal neutral lecture, you can click on. Uh, session can be recorded. Okay, so that means the session can be recorded by the student for reference. So for today's demonstration, we are going to show you with that button, or else I cannot show you how the system will actually function. Okay, go down. So participants, and that is the one which is uh, which is scheduled for session. Schedule at us. Okay, schedule for session is the time of your replacement class. So uh, know this for the record. This is actually considered face to face. Okay, this is face-to-face -face lecture. It's equivalent to giving a two-hour lecture in class. So you set your time. For example, 30th January. You can give a time. So I enable it. So now I won't enable it because we are in a in uh, in this room, right? I won't enable that session. Okay. So otherwise, you just en don't enable it. So when you enable it, it means that the student can only access your lecture between 9 to 11 or whatever time you set. Remember something with the system because we are using UMS local host. So if you are in Japan or Africa or USA uh, delivering the lecture, please follow our local standard time. Okay, so it's 9 to 11 Malaysia time. You follow the time in America or Europe, wherever you are delivering the lecture from. Everything is done. You need to click on activity completion. Again, for attendance, this is what you click. Show activity as complete when conditions are met, which means only students who attended your class between 9 to 11 will be shown as present. Those are not there will be absent. Okay, that's the condition here. So they cannot. Uh, uh, this is a true what you call real face to face. Okay, so you go down, save, and return to the course. Okay, so that will basically save the course. If you use tags, the course will be available on other uh, on uh, Google search. Okay, if you want to make your lecture or your course available on Google search, you use tags. Otherwise, don't do it if you don't want it to be available. Now your class is complete. So. Lecture one, I am in UMS, so I give the lecture face to face. Lecture two, I am in a conference, so I do lecture. So the student will see the button, they will get a prompt. So they come on, for example, they come tomorrow, nine to eleven lecture. They click on blue, big blue button, see what happens. 
So hopefully the speed is fast in our room. Yeah, so Zul will click. Okay. So he will say lecture. There is no recording. Okay. Show sure, click. Go to the big blue button. Wait for a while. It shows. Okay. So now the student will see that button. If you look in your system, can you see join session? Can you see the join session on your handphone? You cannot. Intan can see. Can can see right? Okay. Madhurin, Ada, just click. Just click join session. Okay. So now Zul is the lecturer. And we are the student, okay? So if he is going to deliver the lecture using system, okay, wait for a while, okay? So you should see three dots. You should you should see this in your session. You should see three dots, okay? Three dots. Sorry. Okay. Zul is going to set up his lecture note on the other side, okay? Now Zul, when you join, right? When you join, we all join. We join with headphone. Don't join with microphone. Otherwise, it will uh, the lecturer can hear a voice. It's like a normal class. So Zul is going to join with the microphone as a lecturer inside okay so this is what zul sees we will not see this because he needs to add the lecture note so he'll click on the plus button there below can you see the chat in your phone in your device he said hi some more you can see you should be able to see it okay so you can see everyone who's the in the class can be seen there so if you are a lecturer <laughs> delivering the lecture anywhere else you can see who's in your actual class Okay, so you can see Madhirin, Intan is there, Cyril, Salmi, okay, and that, there's a lecture. If you want to communicate, you click on the tab for communication and you can chat. You can chat with your lecturer. Please do redo slide four or whatever you want to do. Okay, so Intan, hello, so it's there. Okay, so you close it, Zul, close that window. So that becomes distraction. Now Zul will upload a lecture note here. So you add the button, okay, and you upload a presentation. Okay, and then you add to that. Okay, you add for your file. <coughs> you add a lecture note. Okay, for this one, actually when you come for the IDP, I will show you how to protect your content using Creative Commons attribution. Okay, so you need to protect it. Okay, before you upload any lecture note, right, into the system or into the smart to ms be very uh, careful with copyright issue. So please do not include copyrighted material into your slide. That's the that's the basically what we need to be uh, careful about. Because once it goes online, basically if you have used somebody else's content, it, we are violating copyright issue. So when you come for your IDP courses, I will show you how to uh, uh, basically convert your slide into Creative Commons licensing content. Okay, so that will do later on because it takes time and the speed is slow. I need everyone to have their laptop to do that. Okay, how to convert it. Okay, Zul will add a slide. So we just add a slide. Just add the molecular genetics lecture or something like that. The Atas. Atas. The first one, Zul, Atas. Anyway, okay, that one. Okay. okay. So you have the intro and then you upload. Now, with this system, it will. It uh, does not like to use uh, PowerPoint. It will convert your, please convert to PDF and upload as PDF file. Okay, because the PowerPoint may uh, it may move around. Okay, now he has uploaded his lecture note. Okay, this is the lecture note. Now you can you should be able to see that in your phone. If you can you see this one? Can you all see this in your phone? Okay, okay, okay you cannot use. Intan can see. Okay, so as long as Zul is in the system as a lecturer, he can control it. He can even add uh, um, remarks or add use the pen. He will use the pencil, and then Zul can mark on the slide directly. Okay, so the lecturer can actually mark on the slide. There's no issue about, uh, I don't, uh, I cannot mark. You can actually draw on the slide directly. So you don't worry about it. Okay, so he does that. Okay, another thing the lecturer can do, they can give control to the student. So Zul will give control to Intan. You have a laptop, right? So Zul will give control to Intan. So see, he gives, okay. Now Intan becomes the presenter and Zul has no more control. So she can control the slide. So you please draw on the slide. Okay, just draw, uh, just draw something just click and draw right click uh, use your mouse click and draw and we can just pull across click and pull ah yeah okay so she has done that now she has control now you'll uh, this is very useful when you have a lecture in which you want the student to explain some concept in the slide itself or when you're doing a group discussion with six people in the group and you want them to uh, engage or something in the slide. So you can use this. So Zul can get control again from you. Then uh, Intan can no longer see. He goes out. So he takes presentation. So it goes back to the lecturer. So you can use this to make student understand the concept. Okay. 
Now comes the next part, which is you want this material to be put into your evidence for your course file. You click on start recording. Okay. When you start recording, the system will record everything in the system and you have to download the file into your, uh, into your computer or you can give it as pen drive for evidence for your, for your course file. Okay. Remember with the system, after you f if you are worried about your lecture note of copyright, after you finish, please go to the big blue button system and delete your, you can delete everything or delete the whole classroom. Okay. So once you record it, you can delete in the system. So don't worry because some lecturer raise uh, concern about what if my lecture note is inside and it's not copyright, so you can delete it from the system. Okay, so now you, you start recording. After you finish recording, you stop. Stop recording as well. Okay. So the recording is ready and stored in the big blue button. So don't store too much recording in the big blue button because the system is limited. You need to download from the system and store it in your course file as a pen drive. It will be in MP4 format. Okay, so now the co course is done. So once you finish your class, it's, I, I finish my class, I click, okay, and then I finish my class. So I uh, end my meeting, okay. This is the important thing you need to end or else your lecture will keep on recording. After you finish also, it will record whatever you're saying. So end the meeting and then you're done. So you end meeting, okay. Once you end the meeting, you'll see all your screen will go blank. Yes. Can you see all your screens blank? Everyone's screen will basically go blank. Means you're no longer recording the class, okay?